I have little tricks in the early days. Um, uh, uh, the Connolly and Connolly Wakeful Company, CWB, is uh, one of the only companies in the industry that hasn't ever changed hands as far as ownership goes um, and has always stayed true to being the Connolly Wakeful Company, always been innovative and um, have been a real unique company at the back end of the industry for, for, that, for that reason. Um, and uh, their products have always stayed true to, to um, what they believe in. The Hinge Tech system is one that's fairly unique and um, is fairly popular in the CWB range for bindings. It is um, an adjustable um, uh, rear um, uh, heel piece, which uh, allows you to open up the board, uh, open up the boot when unlocked, and then um, and then uh, once you once you're in there and the laces are done up, you, you lock this forward. Um, and that has that has probably been their biggest advancement in bindings, um, and that was probably what, about five years, six years, seven years, something, four years. I don't know how good it is. Um, and there's a few more things in, um, in bindings and boots that have come out this year, probably in advance on that, and I'll probably let Jamie tell you about that, because otherwise I'll keep crapping on and no make it up. So. Um, yeah, obviously, I introduced me before I worked the shop. Um, there's three new boards out for this year uh, with CWB. Basically, we've got the, the DB9, um, the Faction, and the Vibe. Um, the DB9 and the Faction are both exactly the same shape. Um, the DB9 is actually, it ha actually has a bamboo top sheet, so it's super light. Um, they reduce weight in that just to make it a super easy board to ride. Um, they brought out the Vibe just on the fact that they, they needed a, uh, a good solid uh, rail board to ride. Basically, um, they wanted a flex board, but not to have too, fle too much flex. So it's, it's, you can still ride it behind the boat and still not have any trouble with, with it on the sliders. It's super easy board to ride. Um, generally good sort of all round sort of slider board. Uh, one of the biggest things we noticed was bindings. Um, CW is kept with their original hitch tech with their mid-range bindings, um, which has always worked good, but uh, it's just on ease of getting into the actual binding. With their top end stuff, they've actually jumped up to a side hinge. Pretty much what the side hinge does, it gives you either a, a, a stiff boot or a soft boot. Um, when you're using top end sort of stuff, it's, it's not, uh, you're not finding it hard to get in and out of binding. So basically they, they cut that out. It reduced the boot's weight dramatically. So you notice if you actually have the feel of it, it's ridiculously light. Heat slider. Uh, they've got a shock resistant pad in the base of it, which just absorbs like hard landings. Um, pretty much like that's, that's what's come out new in CWB this year. It is super good. Um, that's all I've got to say for now. Like it is just really good. Come and check it out. Thanks very much. Yeah. Nice. Um, and Kobe, team rider as well for CWB. So, um, and these guys are super punks. I know Justin is. He couldn't make it here this weekend, uh, this night. But um, he's super pumped to be out in the water. And if uh, anybody wants to demo a board from CWB, make sure you run the out because I know Justin's super, super pumped to get people out in the water and get this brand going in Australia. Because internationally, it's um, it's one of the strongest brands for sure in Australia. It sort of hasn't really um, kicked as some of the as hard as some of the other brands. But he's um, super motivated this year to uh, make it happen. So. Just talking on, on behalf of him, so that's that. Thank you.